Uh, Young Invincibles has served uh, for a champ or as a champion for students in a couple of important ways. Uh, first, we help give students uh, on the state level the resources they need to advocate successfully in their state houses. Uh, the main driver of increasing college tuition over the last couple decades, uh, particularly at public universities, are cutbacks in investment in higher education at the state level. And we help students understand what those changes have been and help them understand what the budget process is like in their state so they can advocate successfully uh, for changes and, and increased investments in our generation. Uh, and the second way that we serve as a champion for students is on the national level. And we are uh, representatives of, of young people nationally and we uh, do reports and research and, and come up with solutions for some of the major problems that affect our generation. And we're big advocates for things like Pell Grants um, and for making student loans and, and college more generally affordable. The student perspective on the issue of affordability and financial aid really comes from a place of wanting to achieve economic opportunity. Uh, young people today know that education and training is more important than it's ever been before, far more important for them uh, for economic success than it was for their parents' generation. Uh, but they're also facing increasingly rising prices, whether it's going to a two- or, or four-year school, and, and that's making it uh, that much harder for them to get to, to a place of economic opportunity, a place of economic security. And that, that creates a lot of anxiety among our generation. So there's a sense that, you know, i gotta go, I, I got to get that degree, but it's getting harder for me to get there. Well, student body governments and student leaders uh, across the country are very aware of the increases in tuition. I mean, it hits the pocketbooks of them and their families, and so they're very much ready to engage uh, with their representatives and, and let them know about the, the challenge our generation is facing, and as well as some of the, the opportunities to invest in our generation. Uh, we've worked with students in states like Virginia, North Carolina, California, uh, Ohio, Texas, uh, and, and all of these places. Um, Although the problems are slightly different, uh, students are, are ready and willing to, to get to their state legislatures and, and make it known uh, you know, how much these uh, challenges and affordability are affecting us. Young Invincible's message to state and policy leaders on student aid is that it's really a win-win situation for everyone. Uh, it's essential for our generation uh, in the 21st century economy to uh, achieve academically. And that, and that means getting some kind of post-secondary credential uh, beyond high school, and preferably in an in-demand economic field. Uh, it's just essential nowadays that you get that so that you can achieve economic security. Uh, but it's also, in, in the grand scheme of things, important for states and, and the country that we have high educational attainment because that leads to uh, you know, more jobs, better economic growth, and greater producti uh, productivity and innovation, which benefits everyone. Uh, so state policymakers have a, a huge incentive to invest in financial aid, keep college affordable, uh, make sure that uh, achieving uh, you know, higher education credentials is, is attainable for our generation. It's going to pay off for young people and for everyone in your state.